Hey, what's up, guys? All right, this will be part two of the D minor uh, arpeggios video. Here, I want to uh, just quickly play what I'm getting into because I just shot the whole thing, and uh, I should start it out with showing exactly what the line is. So it's just a four-note line: one, two, three, four. That's what we're going for. All right, I'm back. Part two of D minor. Um, you might have noticed uh, I have an improvement in the studio here. We got a new backdrop. It's looking good. We got a ways to go, but all right. It's a sheet. Yeah, it's it's wrinkly. It's a wrinkled sheet. It is. Uh, I think it's a step up. Anyway, part two of this D minor thing. So what I wanted to get into is we got this, but um, now this is obviously heavily influenced by Sean Lane, who's probably my favorite electric guitarist. Um, and he shows some similar licks, but I, this, these licks kind of follow what would be part one, whereas we were just doing three notes. Um, obviously at the end, we could come off with a pull off to make it an even four. And on top of that, we can put a note on top of it. So, what we're going for is a grouping of four one, two, three, four. And with D minor, I'm starting on the C, A, F, D. There's our four, and then A, F, D, C. So, we got picking the first note and then the fifth note. Pick, pick, and all the rest are hammers from nowhere. I think. No. Pick, that's a regular pull off. Then a hammer from nowhere. Hammer from nowhere. Then the A. Pick, hammer from nowhere, hammer from nowhere, and a regular pull off. Uh, so now, to keep this lick in key, I'm going to have two versions. So the first version, let's try and uh, keep it in an actual scale. Um, so when you're in playing jazz in minor, you're free to kind of go in different directions. Um, okay, we have a cat problem here. Hold. <laughs> All right, cat problem is, is solved. She's, she's fine. I had to put her down, though, as in off the table down. Not down, down. She's, she's good. Hi, kitty. All right. So now keeping this in one scale, that's the key. So the first scale uh, to keep it in is melodic minor. So melodic minor, we're in D minor, but we're going to have uh, root two, flat third, four, five, natural six, which is B, and natural seven. So in order to keep those notes, Our first lick will be, we could start it on the C sharp and then do the D minor, A, F, D. And then pull off to the C sharp, that's tricky. Or we could pull off down to the B down here. Or we could even start on the B as our first. I kind of like the C sharp, even though it's a stretch. And then pulling off to the B. Yeah, let's let's do C sharp. So C sharp A F D. Then on the second string, we'll start on the G. We're gonna do an A minor, uh, not A minor, A seven. Pick the G, E C sharp A. sharp A G. So I'm just picking the pick the G, pull off the E, hammer, C sharp, hammer A, pull off the G. That's the second 
It's a little tricky. Getting that C sharp. Um, next, starting on the third string, we're starting on the E, pinky on the E, and then we pull off to the C sharp, and then we hammer from nowhere A on the next string, and then F sharp. Oh, you know, then pick the C sharp, A, F, and we can pull off to the D. Pick, pick. And then the final one, same pattern, starting on, uh, again, just like on the top string, we can start on the C sharp. Let's do the D. So we're D, pick the D, pull off to A, F, hammer on the F, hammer from nowhere, hammer from nowhere on the, oh, let's just put Kitty down. Come on, sweetie. Good girl. She's a good girl. Oops. So we end on D. So this whole big mess, this will be the first one in tab, the melodic minor. Uh, you know what? I like the C sharp. And then C sharp, A, F, D, down to B. Again. Now, on the top, on the first one, um, it's tempting to use a second finger, but I'm gonna, I, I actually think it's easier to use your first finger. So, C sharp with pinky, A, Pull the A, hammer F, hammer D, and then pull off to first finger. Like that. Then the A7. Then that kind of uh, D minor major 7. So obviously, that you can switch this up in so many ways that it, it gets kind of crazy. So that's the melodic minor version. Um, let's do like a Dorian version also, where it's a little bit looser. So um, I do more videos with this, uh, keeping the strict Dorian. But let's just do something that sits nicely in this position and is a good way to start out. So obviously the first thing is we're starting on C. So with Dorian. Um, difference with melodic minor and Dorian root two nine flat third four five still natural six with Dorian but we have the flat seven um, with Dorian with jazz it, you know you sometimes play the melodic minor Sometimes even in the same line, there's the C. So it doesn't matter, but um, for writing stuff out in tab, I want to try to stick to one scale. So the first version is going to be that melodic minor. And then the second version it will fit Dorian. That's that does now on this string. We can go back to our A7. That's not gonna fit Dorian, but the point is here if you're playing D minor, especially you know, slipping in the major seven is not a big deal. I just want to point out that you don't always have to go up to the C sharp. There are strict ways to stay with Dorian, but they're just a little harder. I want to start with something a little more basic. So we can just do that A7 again. Now here, this is a pretty nice. E, pull the C, hammer to A, hammer to F, and then pull off to D. A nice D minor nine. And then at the end, C, fret pinky pull off to A hammer to F hammer to D and then we can pull off to the B or the C for some reason
reason this is easier. Finger picking. Too, but I like these silk and steel strings. So this fits D minor. Um, we can do this in D minor all over the place. There's all kinds of uh, interesting stuff we can do and then change chord types to different uh, tonalities. G7 to C major 7. So we can do it make two five licks out of it um but for now that's it so i'll put two in tab the melodic minor uh, and then and then the lick we did the first in part one you know that also kind of fits so the point is is there's some strict lines to practice but the ultimate idea is to not just have it be the same line you know you can move it around and come up with all kinds of cool stuff which I'm still kind of in the process of doing um, that's the E7 E minor 7 D B G E D the Dorian lick. So in Dorian, another thing too is, this is stuff I'll get into, this is more theory stuff, which uh, I'll get into on a D Dorian, just to touch on it now. Um, obviously we play the D arpeggio, D minor arpeggio, D minor 7, um, and then we can play, well, we can play any diatonic arpeggio, but the three big ones would be a D minor, and then the next one is A7. A minor 7, or a dominant 7. That gives us the major 7. And then the other one is E minor. So when we're in D minor, that E minor sounds really nice, and so does the A minor, or A minor 7. So, uh, if you take this, obviously you could, over the D, you know, you can play the same lick. And there's the A minor, there's E minor, and then just on and on. I'll, I'll try to cover all that stuff. Um, so, there's that for now. I hope that wasn't too long. It feels like the longest ever video. Cool. I hope you guys like that. Uh, let me know. If you have any questions, and we'll go from there. Cool. I love that sheet. Actually, I don't.